Baltimore teenager is recovering from some serious injuries after a shooting following a basketball tournament that happened over the weekend. Yeah, this one happened a block away from the basketball court at the Madison Square Rec Center in East Baltimore, better known as the Dome. That's where a championship game had just ended. ABC2 News' Jeff Hager has details of what happened. Jeff. Well, Christian, it appears the shooting happened after a robbery gone wrong, and the victim was fortunate to escape with his life. They play the caliber of basketball here that has helped send some of Baltimore's best to the college ranks and even the NBA. But when the crowd dispersed after the Be More Night Hoops Championship on Sunday, a different kind of crowd would be waiting for them in the shadows as two young men, including an 18-year-old, made their way towards home. He made it to the 1500 block of Chase when he walked upon a group of unknown males. At some point, one of the males brandished a gun and basically announced a robbery. Um, when the victim turned to run, he was shot in the back. City Councilman Brandon Scott also attended the tournament that night, and he says it happened shortly after the trophy presentation, as the last of the spectators and participants emptied out of the Madison Square Recreation Center. For me, it just heightens the anger. Anytime anyone shot, especially young people in our city, it angers me. But to have an event that is so positive and was attended by so many people. And to that end, Scott says it's frustrating that efforts to provide a league which could benefit everyone in the community could now face security concerns because of the actions of a few criminals. To have this league that we restarted two years ago because of the history of playing in late night basketball leagues in Baltimore City, playing at the Dome, playing at Cloverdale, what that means for all the greats that have came through the city and all the greats that we hope come through the city. And to have this young man uh, be shot and maybe put not just his future as a basketball player, but a man where he could be providing for his family, uh, going off to college and putting that in jeopardy, that's something that shows true cowardice and something that we all should be angry about. It appears bullets struck the victim in his back and his neck. At this point, police have no suspects. Jeff Hager, ABC2 News.